Hello, my name is Caleb, and this is Bishop Horace e. Smith. How you doing, Caleb? Good. My youngest grandson. Well, not young. Not youngest anymore, because John is yeah. only four. Yeah. All right. And and we're we're interviewing questions about the coronavirus. Okay. What's your question? How did the coronavirus start? Well, again, we think pretty clearly that the virus started in a, in China, a certain province, uh, and that's not unusual that viruses can. We sometimes have new viruses that start, but this one was probably in animals and then it was transferred to human beings and so then they got the virus at first in China. So, so like what you're trying to say is that the animals first got the virus and the humans got the virus. That's exactly right. There's certain viruses, you know what a virus is, it's like a bacteria, a microorganism, you can't see it, but we all have viruses in our bodies. We have viruses sometimes in the community, but because our bodies can fight a virus with antibodies, we don't get sick. But this one's a new one. So basically what you're trying to say, this is the new virus is taking over. And so since it's new, our body doesn't know how to uh, protect itself. Right? It, that's it, exactly. You know, this, this long word antibody means that the way God has made our bodies, that if you get exposed to something different, some kind of microorganism, your immune system can make an antibody and attack it so you don't get sick. But with the new virus, our bodies don't know how to fight it. So people get exposed to it and then they can get pretty sick. And that's why we're trying to do things like um, staying in place in our homes in small groups to make sure we don't spread this virus quickly and allow uh, us to take care of it uh, at a slower pace. So like, so like, I heard from my mom that like, for people younger like me, it you would only get like a cold where you would probably just need to eat healthy mm -hmm. and stay in bed and, eat. and like, when I say eat healthy, like those grapes, even though they're, even though they are fake. So. Be nutritious. Your mother is right. You know, your mother uh, is finishing medical school, so she's pretty smart about these kind of things. But in, this is a general statement that the people who are most likely to have a complication or a bad time with the virus are older people or people who have some kind of medical condition that makes their bodies weaker. Younger children tend not to get as sick, but it's always a risk, it's a very small risk that even young kids can get sick but the risk is much, much, much lower. So I tell young kids, you know, they should practice the precautions, but not to be afraid. So like young people like me wouldn't really get that sick as people as old as you, because you're like Hey, seven. what do you mean? Because I'm 70 years old? Yeah, I have a higher risk of having a complication, but it doesn't mean that I will. It doesn't mean if you're younger that you won't. So I think the precautions are for everyone. So like people around your age that have like some type of something would be more likely for it to be more dangerous? Yes, even people who are not older but have certain diseases, it can be more dangerous. But again, our message is this. Practice all the prevention things that we're doing, um, social distancing, those kinds of things, to minimize it. And I think if we do this, we'll all be healthy and whole. Do you agree? Yes. High five. Oh, that's not a part of it. Elbow. Bye. Are you signing off? Yes.